Hooray for Hollywood! Hello there, Stan the Movie Man here with your WIMZ.com movie review. This week your votes at WIMZ.com sent me unanimously to see Prometheus. It is Ridley Scott's prequel of sorts to his movie Aliens, or Alien. Um, and it is, it, it somewhat explains the backstory that was kind of hinted at in Alien. Uh, but we get a lot more detail in this one. A group of researchers have uh, discovered the same uh, cave drawing or uh, artistic representation of a tall creature pointing at five stars uh, in various cultures around the world. It is the same configuration of five stars. Once they uh, check to see where those five stars are, the only thing that matches is this one configuration several light years from Earth, and it is uh, apparently one of the stars has a planet orbiting it. Um, a uh, very wealthy uh, person by the name of Peter Wayland, played by Guy Pearson and a ton of old age makeup, funds a study and a mission to these five stars. The uh, original researchers, Elizabeth Shaw, played by Numi Rapace, and uh, Charlie Holloway, played by Logan Marshall Green, um, are on board along with uh, people in various, from various fields of geology, biology, uh, paleontology, and such as that. And they go uh, on this mission, uh, put in suspended animation for a couple of years, and uh, travel to this star system. The goal at least as far as uh, the researchers are concerned, is to discover if these uh, apparent tall aliens are the people who brought life to Earth. Uh, we get a uh, pre-scene that, that shows a uh, very pale white, very muscular creature who is dropped off by a spaceship somewhere near a river in a waterfall um, and consumes something that appears to be alive and it completely rewrites his DNA, breaks his body down into cells and then disperses it through this river. That implies that these aliens go around to habitable planets and seed them with life. Um, the industrialist, Peter Wayland, uh, has funded this uh, project even though he's very, very old and will probably be dead. Uh, he has sent along his um, number two, so to speak, uh, Meredith Vickers, played by Charlize Theron. She lets it be known right away that she is in charge of the mission. And once they arrive at the planet, they discover these structures that contain various secrets uh, that leads us to a startling conclusion. Sometimes you don't want to know where you came from. And that's generic enough to make it so that I don't ruin anything for you. The movie's excellent. Excellent! It is a terrific, terrific film. Um, it has a sumptuous feel to it. The visuals are spectacular. Uh, the interior of the structure that they go and uh, um, examine um, is something that we've seen before in the movie Alien. They have uh, done a terrific job of matching up the sets from the first film. And, uh, and I'm, I'm sure most of this is a small set with details that is then uh, replicated and, and expanded to fill the screen with computer-generated images, but it looks terrific. The story is, there's a lot of crosses and double crosses and, and uh, lies being told throughout the film that you always wonder what uh, the true um, intentions of people are, including the artificial life form David, played by Michael Fassbender, who um, apparently is following orders from an unknown person on board the ship. Terrific story, very involving, 
Uh, it's not the kind of sci-fi horror that Alien was. It, it is really, I guess, more hard sci-fi, um, along with a little adventure. So, it's a terrific movie. It, uh, it, it's very involving, very entertaining. I was transfixed the whole time. Can you guess what I'm going to give it? Yeah, five guitars. Go to WIMZ.com to read my complete review, as well as to vote on the movie that I'll see next time. Have any questions or comments, send them to StanTheMovieMan at ATT.net. You can also follow me on Twitter, at MovieManStan. Till next time, later, Tater!